run in, 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 run that's a riff based on what we were singing before this part began. Okay, that's Benny Hill's theme. That was completely different. I don't know where we're Black Eyed Peas and Benny Hill crossover, but uh, uh, yeah, I know. Here we go. I, Here's, I was... uh, good old Sparks. It's good to say. Oh yeah, just the normal stuff. All right, yep. So this is Rainbow Speedway. Joining me today, joining me today is James Nitro, uh, back once again after some time being in videos. But it's good to have him, and he is here for Rainbow Speedway, which is, I think, actually quite a, quite a nice speedway. Actually, I was playing it just before, and I, I can I can actually appreciate this this particular speedway. I think it looks really really cool. Um, you've never played it before, or you haven't played it in. Of ages or yeah you haven't played it before I mean I've I haven't really particularly played this level in quite some time I mean I have truthfully gotten to it but that was like when I was like young. really young so yeah, as, as same with me. Like, the f the stars though it's kind of it looks kind of like Mario Kart like it's Mario Kart me of, like, yeah I played Mario Kart and then like the stars. Oh yeah, and yeah, and like that level, that level with the rainbow road. Yeah, as well. was it called? Ra yeah, rainbow road. That's it. Well, yeah, the, the level with the rainbow road was called rainbow road. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, um, <clears throat> rainbow road. Yeah, like it. Like the thing is, this level, you know, itself, it, it's slow and that kind of thing. These speedways are, are terribly slow, and that's because there's just a complete overload of of fog there's too textures. Too much on it. Yeah. I don't. There's just too much fog. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, Obviously, given the natural, the, given the naturally bad frame rate for this game, and then you try to clutter too much on it, you might. It's like the PlayStation 2 emulator on a shitty computer. That's exactly right. It is. It's a, That's the, that's what I was just talking about in the previous couple parts about. It's just how much there's just too much of a particle overload and effects, and that's what's causing this stuff. Because, you know, like uh, this level looks really nice. Obviously, it's based on cloud. Cloud Nine. Um, we've got. We're basically we're on a huge cloud right now. If you can see in the background, but there's. I think. I think the hourglass thing is over there as well. I'll have a look when we do the race. But uh, the particular enemies in this level, I always thought are great. They're flying beds. I think that's really really inventive. I I, I can appreciate that a lot actually. Um, there we go. Flying beds. And flying you know, beds. I don't know. Why. Obviously, they're playing into that whole sleep thing. Yeah, I mean that makes it makes sense and everything. And there's uh, hey, Tashi Station. Tashi Station. I, I mean, I was just talking about in the last part how ridiculous some of the level names. I mean, sorry, some of the enemy names are in this. I mean, Ta what the fuck is a Tashi Station? It sounds I'm, like a cheap I'm thinking, knockoff. I'm of thinking the Star Wars a little bit. I'm not quite sure. Like, yeah. I think I've heard something called Tashi Station. I mean, I used to be a huge Star Wars fanatic, and Tashi Station was something in on the desert planet Tatooine in the in the movies. Really? Okay. I think, I, th I think the guy mentioned. I think the Luke mentioned it once. Yeah, I'll need to go to Tashi Station to pick up some power converter. Something like that. I think that's what it was called. And, and so and so, if if that is true, then the le then the dragonfly's name is based off a location. In Star Wars, which is just so weird. I, mean, I, mean, I like, should double check just so I don't come in here. Oh, oh, oh he's giving bullshit. Yeah, that'd be good. Actually, get Google the name. Google the name. See if you get anything. That'd be very interesting because um, it just seems like uh, even even if even if you are correct, it would just be weird. What? Well, how was it spelled? I couldn't see because the it was. The, um, it was. Oh wait a minute. Um, I think you're. I'm echoing. Wait, no, I still good. No, it was um, yeah, it was, it was like Tashi, T A S H I, station, like PlayStation. So how you'd think it's spelled? But um, all right, look, see, you can actually see the the gigantic, uh, what's it called? Like, what I like to call the days and days of our lives, uh, timekeeper thing, whatever it's called. The whatever. That's that's actually what I'm getting here. I mean, like. One source says T O S C H E, and then the other source says T O S H I. So either way, it's I think it would be a reference to that. Yet yeah, they spelled it incorrectly because it's Tashi Station, which yeah. is um, which is within A. So. So it says was a po was a power and distribution station located outside the town of Anchorhead on Tatooine. So wow, that was good of you to pick that up actually. Um, 
I just I just heard it and I was like, oh wait a minute, it sounds familiar. Yeah, well that's um <laughs> what a classic. This game it's is like, get weird. off you fucking nerd is I mean, No, I mean Ice uh what's it called? Ice Boy is probably a worse name, um, you know, in this level. I mean I Ice Boy. I mean what happens when he becomes a man? <laughs> It's like I had a teacher uh, once, his name was Mr. Ice Young, Man. and uh, what's the word? And when he gets old, well, his name's going to stay Mr. Young, so it's kind of disappointing. Now, actually, if you look at Unless these... Unless he actually changed it. Yeah, like when he gets old, he goes to, you know, Mr. Oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Decrepit. Or Mr. Mid-Aged. <laughs> Mr. Midlife Crisis. Um, <laughs> now, with this level, you can actually see the exact same structures that were in the other levels. So it almost makes it seem like this level is non-canonical. Um, because, like, it seems like, the, yeah, like, unless they've just repeated the exact same, like, locations, you see a big, the big castle that's, like, situated at the very end of the level. Um, I'll, I'll show you when we get around to it uh, in Cloud9. Here we go. So, I mean, obviously, the structure, it makes sense that it's the same. We are in a level, but, like, it's like they've actually just copied and pasted the exact same, see that thing over there, that timer over there, as you may be able to see, um, that clock, uh, right, well, yeah, to my <coughs> left. The architecture of the, is it supposed to be the castle, it's supposed to be a castle? Yeah, I th something like that, like it's a palace weird. or something like, well, yeah, um, when we go back out and have a look at the level again, um, and why yeah, the fuck are we still third? Yeah. This is ridiculous, I don't understand, like, I've, haven't been able to get in front of anyone for ages because somehow it's like what the hell? Yeah, look at that. I'm still I'm in third place, and there's no reason why. That is really odd. I'm gonna have to repeat it and just cut because yeah, it's, I'm not doing it again. It's boring, to be honest. It's kind of that's that's really strange architecture. I'm trying to point out like what exactly. Yeah, I, mean, I know you. I mean, yeah, it's you. It's kind of like I wouldn't. I'm jumping to probably. Very, 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 very weird conclusions here, but I would probably say it looks more like what you would find in Istanbul. Istanbul, like Turkey. That, okay. Yeah. That's that's an interesting one. Um, I'm sure there's because, probably because some because the way the roofs that. are shaped on the on the main buildings is what's what's kind of getting me to lead to that conclusion. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See. Oh, you talking about that big thing that right there, that big like palace yeah, I mean, type that, thing? That was also that was also used in like yeah that. That's like more of Arabic architecture too. So it could be it could be a cross between those two. But I'm not really sure. I don't want to throw theories out there that that don't make much sense. Oh God, I'm completely lagged out. I better pause. Okay, and we're back. So yeah, I think James is basically well for the most part he's he's, he's guessing that it is uh, based on Turkish architecture. Uh, so that's very interesting. Well, ar architecture over in that region, I'm not really sure if they have their own specific architecture. Yeah, well, um, no, my oh there we go. We actually got first place. There we go. My dad actually went for, uh, to Turkey a couple of years ago for something to do with his work, and. Um, yeah, it was quite. It, he said. He said. I, some of the pictures I saw, I can definitely actually get get what you mean. Um, is Grayson? Hey, it's Grayson. Grayson. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Interesting name. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Trying, I'm just trying. I'm just making blind inferences, like possibly because, like, the moon, the moon that was in Brandon on the floor. Well, yeah. Let's, let's go over and have a look at the moon. I'm gonna do. I will do that now. I'll get a bit of a closer look. Uh, here, so here's the. You know, the the big. What's this thing called again? The what's the, uh, the timer? The you know what's it, the sand timer or whatever they call it? Like that. I mean, yeah, they could also they could also correlate to sleep, but it's just like the architecture and then the. And that's moon what it's meant to be. Yeah, it's all it's all to do with sleep. They're all like all the guys are dressed up in their pajamas. That guy's in a bed, etc. 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 Let's go have a look at this. Here's the big. Uh, what kind of reminded of Wonderland? I mean, you know, from uh, Neverland. Sorry, from that movie. Uh, <laughs> Peter Pan. That's it. Peter Pan returned to Neverland. Um, Alright, so here's the big castle, which has nothing of note on it. It's just like just a structural thing. Let's have a look. Anything down here? No. Nope. Just kind of stock standard. Um, oh, okay, see, look look at that. There's so much fog. I don't know if you can see it, but... Jesus. Oh, clouds. What they want, they want you to think is clouds. I'm, I'm having a hard time. It's, yeah, so am I. I can't even... It's killing the frame rate for me. It's like making my... On my screen, it's just... Oop. It's like... Space Invaders, you know how slow they go at first, and then... Yeah, I do. Fuck it. Oh, water down there? Look at this. this 
you could you can't even see that it's water. I thought she just fell to death. I didn't think it was water down there. No, neither. Because yeah, you can't you can't see it properly. Um, all right, okay, I'll go. Yeah, actually, yeah, I did think that was. I thought that was. Yeah, that. Is, okay, so it must be water. It's like cloud water or something. I don't know, but um, all right, here we go. I'll go. To, I'll go to the. So we're really not on a cloud, are we? This this is just. I think I think we're on the cloud. I mean, was it a, it's some makeshift? Yeah, see the moon right there. I was thinking, oh, Turkish flag has that. Like, but then it was like, yeah, okay. very right. Uh, why do I feel like no? That's not his. No, Israel, that'd be wrong. Um, all right, now. Oh, I see what you're looking at. Oh, you dirty fisher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, no, I don't even know what you're inferring now. Um, what the fuck? Okay, no, no. Wait, what? Just happened there. Okay, this is just so glitchy. This level is just ridiculously glitchy. <laughs> My God, what the? I'm not even doing half this stuff. Like I feel, like it, this the frame rate just randomly picks up and then, like, look at that. Like right there. <laughs> I don't right. Know. It takes. It took ten. You know, three seconds to actually uh, use the the hover. So it makes pretty much no sense at all. Um, but uh, hmm. rather abruptly. That's it, because there's nothing more to do with this. So now what we're going to do is head off to do this remainder, the second half of Cloud9, which uh, I'm looking forward to, actually. There should be some good stuff to do. Hopefully, I don't actually collect a gem right now, because I avoided collecting a gem all the way to get here. It's just so I made sure to continuity-wise no one could be able to know. So, yeah, all right. I shall see you in the next part. Thanks for James for being here, and we shall finish off this level in the next part. See you then. Fisher got the booty.